Right now, we have one of the worst administrations in the history of our country. And to prove it, you can look at what Leisure Poll's doing. Paul Senebeard and Shank Jenkins just went to Leisure Poll today. And it's, you know, and I no longer have full control over my own company. You know, Infinity Studios just released this thing. And without my consent, they're doing a lot of things without, you know, consent right now. The executives in my company, because they're doing a lot of evil stuff. But anyway, they are, this is news, Aunt Alice and Uncle Jerry were under a gag order. They went under a gag order today. They were talking about, because um, Paul Senebeard and Shane Jenkins sued them for misinformation. Spreading, like spreading misinformation. What misinformation? That people have been killing themselves because of the IXLs? I talked about this in my debate, and Paul Senebeard did nothing to me. Cindy Moostris and I have shared this information with you multiple times, and still, Shane Jenkins and Paul Senebeard did nothing. So why they go to a uh, leisure poll and sue Ann Allison and Uncle Jerry for a misinformation misdemeanor, why they do that, I have absolutely no idea. But, you know, we, we have someone on the phone... Bigsley Katz is on the phone with us right now. Maybe he'll be able to answer all of our questions. Uh, so, Bigsley, you're on speaker. I'm going to turn you on speaker. Uh, you know, thank you for coming on this interview tonight. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Sal. Uh, thank you for inviting me on the phone call. I really appreciate you uh, taking a moment out of your time, out of your schedule to talk to me. No problem. So, what happened? Basically, what happened was, without my approval, they tried... Aunt Alice and Uncle Jerry, and they they did all this stuff. They had a whole affair. They had a whole court date, whole thing. Wow. It was a whole thing. And now Aunt Alice and Uncle Jerry were sentenced to be under a gag order about an hour ago. Uh, first of all, that was undeserved. Aunt Alice and Uncle Jerry don't deserve to be under a gag order. That was completely wrong. I think the judge is a Democrat. And secondly, that Absolutely. was unapproved. That went unapproved by me. It was stated, I believe, under the uh, Ludal administration. Yeah, it was her. That, yeah, this was a Ludal. This was one of Ludal's policies. It was supposed to be that uh, you know, I, I think it was like 1970. She put this in. You know, you're supposed to have the mayor's approval under the um, for the court meetings. And for some reason, they did this under Paul Sanders. They did this under Chadsworth. They even Warner kept this rule. Even the former mayor, Alicia Paul. These were all former Warner, mayors. They kept this rule going. He had to oversee every single trial in that town. And yet, when I get into office, for some reason, they don't. You know what it is? I think I know what it is. I know what it is. Who actually does his job? Who actually cares about the American people and our judicial system? They look at that. They, they our judicial system. They look at that. And they say, "No, no, we can't. No, Bigsley Catch is a liability because he is a MAGA Republican. Now, I'm not just a normal Republican like you, Cindy. I am a uh, MAGA Republican. I just don't share, share that publicly. I went to the RNC. I went to uh, you know Donald Trump's." Rallies. I went to all those rallies. I went to all that, you know, because I, 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 in fact, I even did vote for President Trump. That probably doesn't come as a surprise, but, uh, but I did. Uh, uh, yeah, but anyway, they, they, the courts, they're going to the judicial system. They're saying, no, 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 Bigsley Catch is a liability. He's a mayor from you did your job. New Jersey. And no, we can't, we can't. They have, they have to do everything they can to break that rule because he's a good mayor. He will actually do his job. He cares. He cares that things are done fairly, and that I do. And it's all true. I care what, how the uh, the judicial court meetings, I, I care how they're held. They need to be held properly. I have no problem with people being tried, but it has to be on fair terms. And unlike in the case of Aunt Alice and Uncle Jerry, they need to be tried on an actual crime. Totally fake Last crime. I checked, even if it is misinformation, they did not do anything right with that trial. It's Anything's a First Amendment speech. I'm supposed to be under a gag order. None of that's supposed to happen. They have no right to do that. Now, the media's coming out. They've been saying, you know, today's studios, they've been saying that, uh, you know, the new, sorry, not the 
Southern Air Studios, the New Rocksville News Network. Well, it was my company, uh, too. They've been saying that, you know, Uncle Jerry, you know, was spreading misinformation about the uh, Biden campaign. First of all, that wasn't Uncle Jerry. That was Mike Lindell. He was the one spreading misinformation about uh, Biden rigging the elections. Biden didn't bring the elections. I believe, and I, this is coming from a Republican, I believe Biden won the election fair and square. I, well, probably not in the most fair or square way, but, you know, he won that election technically. There was no rigging. I don't think they rigged the election because I don't know how you would do it. It was possible. I don't think I they did either. It was possible at any point during history they probably could have rigged the election somehow, but I, I don't, I, I just can't say that it was done, you know, for the Biden... Uh, you know, for Biden's thing. Uh, but, you know, they've, been, they've rigged stuff. And Shane Jenkins and Paul Centipede, they are all about rigging. They are all about, you know, good things. But only if it comes to them and them only. They're very... Oh, good. totally. And they're wrong and they will do anything to secure the vote, even though everything they've been doing with the IXLs and the Alicia Paul region East War, everything that they lost the vote, you know, and ever since... You chose Sal to be your last mayor. You know they they were this, they were basically done for in the beginning. They oh, absolutely! The minute I chose Alice him as my vice, place. done. Uh, they were done for. On Alice and Uncle Jerry, and they're doing all of these things, and they're going to continue to do things that are wrong because they need every possible inch of vote they can get, even though they're not going to get it. You Sounds like Shank. Ahead in the polls. You, you know, there's only one voter, and they voted for you. Um, and this is all over Fox News. CNN, CNN won't even touch you guys because New Rocksville is such a nightmare. But basically, the point is they've been doing all of these things, and I know I've been wasting your time. No, you've been wasted. Uh, wasting your no, time. no, you have not been teachers. wasting any of all time. Um, no. The point is, CNN won't even touch us. They, they, like, you know, they'll spread misinformation about Donald Trump. And oh, absolutely. And they, they, they are so Democrat, but they won't they even hate Republicans. They won't even bother, to, you know, to mess with America's town, Leisure Bowl. Because, mind you, we have been ranked the most, one of the most American towns in the country. We are literally, one of our You've been ranked. Is literally America town, because this is the reddest town in the entire state. Yeah, one of the most conservative towns in the country. Country, but CNN, they won't even touch us because we, even under my administration, we are a disaster. But that is because of your current administration, the same one you've had for 50 years, which is the Jenkins administration. And Paul Centipede's been going out to his little IXL conventions. He's been saying that, you know, you, you, know, you Cindy, were allegedly sitting back and uh, doing nothing. Oh, my God. Was, you know, doing doing all these alleged good things and he and I he didn't even say alleged because they need to do everything to make sure they can secure the vote even though that it, it's not going to happen they, you know and just to wrap things up it, Paul set up here had 25 years this that company's been around for a quarter of a century this really is IXL Learning's 25 anniversary and at any point during, you know, this IXL massacre, which actually lasted for a lot longer than you think, he could have said, wait a minute, what I'm doing is morally incorrect, and it goes against the word of God. Uh, Bixley, I don't even think he knows what God no, is. Definitely not. No, no, no. I don't think that someone like Paul Senebi has ever heard of God. Absolutely not. And, you know... This is this is sad. So, you know, but God's not going to put anything in his favor. No, Nothing's he doesn't deserve it. Favor. Maybe one or two little things, but you know that God is not going to put things in his favor because Paul said it is wrong. Everyone knows it, and the, our only Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, knows it. So he's not going to do anything. He's not going to put anything in our favor. Absolutely not, because Paul said it knows he's wrong. Shane Jenkins knows he's wrong. Everyone knows he's wrong. But we, you know, and the point is, New Rocksville is such a dumpster fire, such a dumpster fire under his administration. Administration, and just to just to wrap things up, you know, if you do not win the election, this is just to confirm to the people at home. If you, because I know I'm on camera, yeah, I'm yeah. on camera. Yeah. If, if you 
send it and say I do not win the election. I will declare war. And, you know, and I still get calls from Patrick Starr and SpongeBob SquarePants, you know, from Train Track Town. They still say, like, are you going to come back and be a co man And I said, absolutely not, because you, you, you two are crazy. You have no government. They're this freaks. Is, you know, this is why I was so quick to become mayor of Leisure Pole. I saw the potential in Leisure Pole. And I said, you know what? Then this is a pretty good town. This represents the values of our country. But Train Track Town, SpongeBob, and Patrick wanted to make all these expensive changes. They wanted to do all these crazy and insane things. And, you know, they, they, and the, they, now they're under a depression. Nobody's going to talk about this because SpongeBob and Patrick... They, they want to keep everything quiet. Nickelodeon, and they, and they are two individuals who like to keep everything quiet. Sounds like familiar. They don't want you to know that Uncle Jerry and Aunt Alice are in the right. They don't want... They don't want you to vote for the Republicans because they themselves are Democrats. They're Democrats, and the Democrats are really evil. They're, they're you know, they're going for, they're, they're supporting all of these horrible, horrible things. Horrible things. Their policies are absolutely you know, terrible. Like, they're okay, very they terrible policies. Stuff in the schools. That's not good. You, you can't teach that to kids. They don't even care. That's the problem, Bigsley. They don't even care. They don't even care what our kids are learning. Absolutely horrible. Horrible. Very horrible. down the American flags. They've been replacing them with the LGBTQ flags. And Disney? We are. I know. Like, if you want to be gay, by all means, be gay. But, you know, and don't force us, you know, to sleep with someone of our gender. You know, but I'm sorry for taking up all your time. No, 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 you're you're fine. You invited me to do this interview over the phone, and if you want, we can have an in-person interview. Totally, we should definitely do that. I can give you Uncle Jerry's number. You know, I can give you Aunt Alice and Uncle Jerry's number. I think Lam Lam already has it. Probably has it because they've been. She's been to Aunt Alice and Uncle Jerry's house, and as a matter of fact, you can ask Lam Lam everything. You can ask Lam Lam everything, and she'll tell you the truth. Because I know Lam Lam, and I haven't met Lam Lam, but I heard about her, and you know, I, I've got a good hunch that Lam Lam is going to be someone who is on your side, you know, and I heard the, the news about how Lam Lam is going to be your main congress lady. Uh, she wants yeah, to we didn't talk about that, but that's... You see, this, was, uh, this was all on uh, CNN. Now, whether or not they're telling the truth with that, I don't know. They are. They are. That, you know, that's the one that thing they said that was true. And I would ask her, I'm just throwing this suggestion. You don't have to, but I definitely would. I would, be, you know, if Lam Lam lived in my town, this whole stuff will all happen in my town. Oh, yeah, town, definitely. We are, we are so going to talk to her. Yeah, absolutely. Conversations and just, just for proof. And I would ask her, like, you know, did Aunt Alice and Uncle Jerry treat you well in your, during your visit to Leisure Pole? And she would say, and I, she will say, yes, they treated me wonderfully. They she loved the trip. She wishes she could do it again. She would have stopped talking about her trip. She would be on your side because Lam Lam, and she won't admit this, but Lam Lam too, I can see she's a mega Republican. Oh yeah, we, we all knew that. The RNC or the, you know, Trump said, either this out or you know, for that matter. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay, yeah, but anyway, the point is, you know, Lam Lam is on our side. She's on our side, and frankly, so is 99% of this town. And, of know, our oh yeah, absolutely. And, and, it was interviewed, you know, the New York Times took a survey, like, are you liberal or conservative? We're all conservative. New York is actually pretty red right now. They oh, yeah, most of us are conservative. Because of your administration, but, you know, we, you, we are a red county. We are Republicans. We are all Republicans. Like, I think there's, like, out of the 300,000 residents of New Rocksville, like, five or ten of them are Democrats. That's it. In between we that. are a conservative county, and, and the reason we are conservative is because we are trying to conserve what God has provided before us. We are trying to conserve the good things, you know, and Shane Jenkins, Paul Senator Biden, Kamala Harris, and, you know, they're, they're trying to take all that away. Trying to they're take trying our freedom to take away. Any bit of source of good that we have. It's sad. And, you know, I'll probably been tried for this tomorrow, because now I'll be spreading misinformation. Yeah. Maybe Paul Senebeard and Shane Jenkins won't go after me, but they'll go after one, two of my residents. They don't have the, the right. They don't have the right to do that. Alice and Uncle 
and Jerry aren't just a couple of old bags. They are valuable assets to the Republican Party. Uncle Absolutely. To the RNC. They're Biden wonderful people. I love Aunt Alice and Uncle Jerry. Alice, not so much, but she holds the same political views. Uncle Jerry goes to Trump's speeches. Uncle Jerry's been advocating for you guys. And for he the went Republican to the Republican Party. National he Committee. for all that. So they're purposely going to just go after Aunt Alice and Uncle Jerry. They know they can't try me because I'm a fellow mayor, but they're above Aunt Alice and Uncle Jerry, technically speaking. Um, and they won't interview Roseanne Alka Jammings. They won't sue her. They won't interview her. But Aunt Alice and Uncle Jerry, they'll go right after. No, they don't. They don't have the right to try my citizens. They came into my town. They sued Aunt Alice. They don't and have the Jerry. right. You know, two people that Shane Jenkins hates politically, and Paul one of his worst, two of his knows. worst political and enemies. The way that Paul set up and behaved during that trial was absolutely horrible. Horrible. Absolutely. Was terrible. And Alice, I think, was even crying at one point. Oh, no. They will tell you that. They will tell you that. I was there. I was actually part of the jury, and I was waiting. I was waiting the entire time, like, and I'm thinking to myself in my head, you going to run this by me? They'll never do it. They'll never do it, Bigsley. They'll never do it. And this has been a policy for 54 years. 54. being broken until my administration... Until the Katz administration, this policy has never been broken, not once. Under my administration, they broke this law, they broke this policy. It was absolutely terrible what they've done. It's and, shocking. And Alice and Uncle Jerry are not in the wrong. They are absolutely in the right. And together, we will make our towns great again. And we, we will, will make, make America great, great again. Thank you for having me on this phone call. No so problem. Please. No problem. And I wish you the best on your political journey. You take care, Big Today. So... Bigsley hung up. Um, but basically, this is the level of tyranny that Paul Senebeard and Shank Jenkins have gotten to. They are the worst politicians in the history of our country. Paul Senebeard is the worst CEO in the history of our country. And whether and now, you know, the news has been skepti skeptical. He's been debating with Shank Jenkins, you know, rescheduling. You know, the debate too later. He's procrastinating because he doesn't want to debate me because Paul Senebeer knows that he's wrong. Shank Jenkins is still going to interview Cindy Moostris on September 1st. But whether or not the interview will happen on September 5th between me and Paul, I honestly can't say. I honestly can't say. Paul went to the DNC. Paul went to Kamala's speeches. Paul, Paul went to that. You can, you can see how we are about, you know, Donald Trump. He is about, uh, you know, Kamala Harris and Biden. You know, but he won't debate me. He won't debate me. He's a Republican hater, anti-MAGA, okay? And they will unleash Antifa. Shank Jenkins will unleash Antifa. He's, a, he's announced it, but they won't tell you that. They will unleash Antifa if they get a 26th term, and it's absolutely horrible. Cindy has to win the election. She has to win the election, or Bigsley Katz is going to declare war on us, which honestly, we don't have a problem, right, Cindy? Absolutely not. I have no problem at all, and in fact... You know, honestly, we deserve it. We are such a horrible town. The Jenkins administration is absolutely horrible. He's one of the worst. He's the worst mayor in the history of this town. And even under the Timothy administration, he wasn't this evil. And if the Timothy administration is still around, because you got to understand, Tim Timothy's in his, like, 50s now, late 50s. Uh, he, and... And he would never, ever advocate for the stuff that Shank Jenkins and Paul Sinevier are doing. And you got to understand, Shank Jenkins was Tim Timothy's vice mayor. And even under the Timothy administration, they would have never, ne he would have never done half of the stuff that he's done now. You know, and the IXL massacre didn't exist until 1973. Think about that. Think about that. And I can't really put any blame on Tim Timothy. Because number one, uh, he he's like he lives somewhere else in the a country, either like South Carolina or Virginia. I don't know. Like he moved to another place in the country. Number two, I I feel horrible that this is the legacy of Timothy's administration. Because even though Tim Timothy is was a Democrat, I would still respect him a lot more than Shane Jenkins than his vice because because. At least Tim Timothy didn't, you know, start an IXL massacre. He didn't start a civil war. Tim Timothy was a good mayor. I don't care what anyone says. Tim Timothy was a good mayor. 
Things were definitely better under his administration. Oh, totally. Things were so much better under the Timothy administration. Shank Jenkins gets into office. He starts assigning people. IXLs, you know, IXL, formerly QUIA, was invented, you know, and there's these paper workbooks that got to be turned in. It's, it's absolutely horrible. Horrible. It's very terrible what the Jenkins administration is doing. Very unconstitutional. Very, very unconstitutional. Very unconstitutional. Absolutely. You need to vote for us. And I get, but you know, I guess that if, you know, if we don't win, you know, we're not going to be able to save our town. No, if, if we don't win the election, Bigsley Cats will make sure that our, that the story of New Roxville is history. And honestly, it's okay either way, because then we'll all be one town. This is going to be leisure poll territory. And then we will finally, Shank Jenkins and Paul Senebeard will be arrested and Bigsley Cats will see to it. You, you should have seen what you know, Bigsley Katz has done to Mayor Warner. Oh, absolutely. I, I saw what Bigsley Katz done to Mayor Warner. Like, I mean, as soon as the guy met Warner, he was locked up. And even under the Warner administration, I, I never really had a high opinion of Warner. And here's the thing. None of these mayors, you know, have a vice mayor, which is their choice. But, you know, there are no vice mayors. And look at the power that they have. And that's... And meanwhile... Meanwhile, you look at our town, and Shank Jenkins has a lot of power, and this is the last time I am his vice mayor. I have stopped showing up to work. I have stopped, and, and, and this is to answer any questions. I have stopped going to the uh, New Roxville mayoral office. I stopped going there. I stopped showing up to work, and, uh, yeah, you know, I've been giving Cindy uh, food stamps. I, I've been signing her up for the food stamps. I've been signing, yep, I've been signing up for the food stamps. And we, we've been taking care of Cindy. There were nights where the police were after her and were after me. So we gave her shelter at the Infinity Grizzly Holdings. So if you see Cindy at the Infinity Grizzly Holdings, just you just try to, you know, just keep a low profile around her because she can't be found right now. Cindy can only appear in public when during the debates because they will capture her because the police are very good at their job in this town. They're very good at their job and they will catch me. They will arrest me. And they, and, and there will be no uh, moustrous administration. Uh, but honestly, if something were to happen to me, obviously, you know, Salvatore, he's a very great mayor. Very, very great. But he'll make a great mayor if something is to happen to me. He will continue my legacy. He will uphold all my values. And plus, he'll do more. Uh, you, and, you know, if you're really going to love Salvatore as your vice mayor, and if something were to happen to me, he'll be your mayor, which I believe is even better because then he'll have total power, but he'll do good things and he'll have lots of respect. And by the way, just to wrap this up, Shank Jenkins and Paul Senebeard are all up in arms, you know, that Sal is 15. I think Shank Jenkins seemed to have forgot that when Tim Timothy took office, he was four. And we, we, we forgot about that. You know, Tim Timothy ended his two terms when he was eight. Eight. But then he'll never tell you that. And you know what? I am going to have a really interesting time trying to get Shank to admit that during the debates. Because I got three debates with this guy. You only got one with Paul Centerbeard. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to have one chance to build this guy. But obviously, I think I'm going to win. I'm going to see Paul Centerbeard for the first time. I've seen him. I, I He's never met me. I've never met him. But he's heard of my policies. I've heard of his. Um, we've been interacting virtually, but this will be the first time I see this guy in person. Yeah, because we, because you know the pre-debates, they they won't show those. They won't show those. Those will become lost media. Oh yeah, that I had the pre-debate with Paul Centerbeard. Like I think we touched on one topic, and they won't. And they 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 will try to keep that quiet during the debate as well. Oh, absolutely. So, but anyway, the link is in the description. Please go out and vote. There are less than three months left. Until the end of the election. Election day is coming up soon. It's November 5th. It's going to be, I believe, the first Tuesday of November. So, you know, time is running out. There's like, I think, two months left, right? Yeah, two, two months left. Two months left. As you know, we have the worst administration in history. We have the worst administration in, in the history of this town and one of the worst administrations, one of the worst mayoral administrations under the history of our country. And it's going to be even worse if Paul Senebeard becomes Shank Jenkinson's new vice. 
because obviously we've told you what's going to happen. He's going to, you know, get Viola Amherd angry. He's going to get the Swiss Confederation angry and upset. They're going to declare war on us, and then we're doomed because then we'll have a war with Russia and Ukraine, and at the same time, we'll be we'll, it'll be a world a world his repeat of World War Two. It will be like we'll be the new Germany facing war on two fronts. We'll be fighting Russia. We'll be giving money to Russia and Ukraine. And at the same time, we'll be fighting the Swiss. We can't have that. We can't afford that. This country can't afford that. The world can't afford that. And this won't just be another civil war. We are gonna, we're going to be in two wars. This is why it's so important for us to win. This is why it's so important. Because if we don't win, we're going to have World War Three. It's not like now where... It, Paul doesn't have that power right now, so he he can't do anything. He can't go to Swiss Switzerland and say, uh, you know, I I'm going to start assigning IXLs to you. And so he doesn't have that power yet. But as the vice mayor of New Roxville, he will be considered a licensed politician, a lot like I am. Uh, and he he will go to Switzerland and say, hey, you know what? I am going to declare war. And you know, Bigsley Katz has been tough. He's been he's had total embargoes on any IXL material. And uh, since the very beginning of his administration, since the very beginning, and honestly, I've kept close ties with Bigsley Katz. I think he's a wonderful mayor, wonderful mayor, one of the greatest mayors ever. And yeah, so please go out and vote. I think it's time that New Roxville had a Republican mayor. We need a Republican mayor. And this isn't about female or, you know, young, nothing. We need Republicans in office. We had Democrats in our office for way too long, and it's time for a breath of fresh air. We need to get the old man out and the Republican in. Thank you. Please go vote. Uh, you can vote online. They don't want people voting in paper, which I think is ridiculous. Uh, that's that's But that's our amazing Congress. That's uh, the amazing Jenkins administration for you. Uh, you can't vote in person, but you can vote online. They won't give you the link, but we will. The link to vote is on our website, the I Don't Excel website. You can go check that out. Please go vote. And together we will make New Rocksville great again. Thank you so much, and you have a wonderful night. Rest well, and please go vote.